In this video I'll show you how to make your MX series GPU run at its fullest and help you alleviate the regret you had when you bought this thing just to game on it. I mean, seriously, if you didn't have any, you're watching the wrong fucking video. Before we proceed any further, to keep in mind of the risks that you have to partake and don't blame me for calling 911 in the next 10 minutes. Listen carefully to whatever MLG Daniel has to say. First off, you need to update your drivers to their latest versions. We'll be needing three things for this video. 1. Throttle stop. 2. Aces GPU tweak 2. And lastly, MSI Afterburner. The download links will be there in the description of this video. Now, open throttle stop. Disable turbo and play, to reduce heat. It might also induce stuttering, especially in newer titles, or if you're planning to replace your home induction cooker, you can go ahead and fucking skip this step. Also, try undervolting your CPU. Now for the GPU part. Open ACES GPU tweak. Move the GPU temp target slider to 94C. No, that's too high. 90C is just about right. This increases your temp threshold before it starts throttling, but I doubt it'll even reach that value with turbo disabled, unless you have a shitty cooler, if that's the case then lower it down to the 80 to 85 range. After that, fire up MSI afterburner, move the core voltage slider to the maximum and hit apply. If it is locked for you, you'll have to go to the settings and enable it first. The slider gets reset for me, I don't know why. Now, click on the OC scanning icon on top left, and you should see this. Click on scan, and wait for it to complete. Even though it says it'll take a few minutes, the bitch, took 45 minutes for me. After it finishes, you'll see an average overclock and the dominant limiter should be the voltage. The overclocked curve is exported to afterburner. What fucking curve you ask? Press Ctrl F and you'll see this beautiful curve you have got no fucking clue off. Anyway let's get on with the video, close the curve and hit on apply. Now, we should test the overclock to see if it is stable. This should take 5 minutes, at least this time, the bitch was honest. Once it completes, you should see a confidence level percent. If it's above 60%, you should be fine with your overclock, otherwise you'll have to repeat the whole scan again, and then test it, until you get above 60%. Memory should be overclocked manually though. Memory overclock, shouldn't make a difference in the test results, or if you have OCD and can't handle the stress, do whatever the fuck you please. Don't forget to save your curve to a profile. Look at that clock speed increase. It's almost 30% higher than stock speeds. Daniel is pretty impressed. Oh my god! Now, if you actually do decide to leave turbo enabled, things like these will start to happen. What? What the fuck? If your system reaches the thermal limit, it will either throttle or shut down. So you don't need to be worried about your PC exploding like a M67 frag grenade. And there you have it, an upgraded MX series GPU that will make the rage engine cry, or anything else that you throw at it. You can also finally play Horizon Zero Dawn at 30 FPS. And also Tejas Subby, you are a fucking cunt.